Welcome back to part two on how to build a flight booking, ticketing type application interface. And we're doing that in Sketch. And if you didn't catch the first part, you can find it linked up here for part one. If you are back for part two, we're gonna jump right in back into our design file. So where we left off, uh, we had our whole header, our whole top section with our status bar and our destination information all there, kind of like at a glance. That's the kind of real aesthetic, kind of eye-catching space. And then underneath it, we started to implement all of our details, all of the flight information, the departure, the arrival, all of that information here in this bottom section. So the only thing we have left to do now is to create our kind of scannable barcode area. And then we're just gonna smooth out the design and maybe give it a little bit of dimensionality. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna dive right in and you can see from our wireframe we had our kind of ticket area underneath. This is what we're trying to recreate now. I think it's gonna, let's just start applying that right now. So we're gonna take this and copy it and we're just gonna drop it right into place up here and let's make it white. And I think what we want to do is here's gonna here's where we're gonna do a little bit of our dimensionality work is um, we're just gonna bring this in a little bit and we're gonna add a bit of an element to the information area up here. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna get my oval or my ellipse tool out and I'm gonna draw an oval and you can see I'm gonna zoom in before I do this so you can see it really really good. Let's just get in there and take our oval tool. I'm gonna go to the edge of the new square or rectangle that I just drew and I'm gonna go edge to edge on that and make a really thin ellipse okay and so now we have our that is been drawn and I want to color it black and I want to take it down and put it underneath and there we go we have a little Gaussian blur and then we don't want it to be that drastic we'll just take the opacity of it down some and so now it's looking like it has a little bit of dimensionality to it, which I really, really like. And let's keep a similar dimensionality to the whole design, and we'll add a small drop shadow that it, it just drops down this way a little bit, maybe about six points on the y-axis, um, and then we'll blur it out a little bit more, and then we're gonna take the opacity of this one down quite a bit. And so we'll probably take the blur in, it's a little too big and we'll take the y-axis down. So now we have, you know, it kind of looks, that's uh, a little big, that whole thing is a little bit intense. So we're gonna bring the opacity of our drop shadow or of our ellipse down, and we're gonna have to play with this a little bit to make sure we get it the right way, but I think that's kind of what we're going for, is we have this kind of layered effect and it has some three-dimensionality to it. <clears throat> It pops off of the page and it looks like things are overlapping each other. So that's what we wanted out of it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is uh, we wanna take our new square here um, or our new area. And what we'll do is we'll just lock the info area. We'll make a grouping here for the ticket. Okay, so now this is all gonna be working inside of the ticket and we'll call that the background. What I wanna do is I actually want to punch out some holes and make it look like an old school plane or train ticket, you know, just on the side. So I'm gonna draw out a couple of small ellipses and I'm just gonna take them and I'm gonna grab both shapes and just balance them in the middle like that. And then I'm gonna duplicate that one and just put it over on this side. And then I'm gonna use my Pathfinder tools and I'm just gonna subtract, okay? And what I love about this is it's non-destructive editing. So I can click back into my combined shape up here. We'll just call this ticket. And when I roll that kind of those layers open, you can see I can still manipulate each one of my, you know, individual shapes that are there. I can even change how it's being affected in those kind of pathfinder tools. So that's nice. Um, and what I also love is the whole thing is now getting that drop shadow. And so the whole thing has the dimensionality out. It looks really, really natural. It looks like it's supposed to be there. And so I like that. So now the only thing, let's just zoom out really quick. The only thing we have left to do is we're gonna build a little barcode and we're gonna build, put this little scannable kind of, kind of number code or numerical code inside there. Okay, 
So that's it, we've built our barcode. I saved you the excruciating pain of duplicating boxes over and over. Um, and that is the design for the most part. And so now what I'd like to do is go back in and just critique my own work a little bit um, and maybe even kind of fix things up as I go with that critique. And so let's see, what could I have done better and what still needs to be fixed on this design? Well, um, let's be like really practical. There's no way currently in the design for you to go back or navigate to any kind of screen. There's no main navigation. There's no backlinks. We, we've taken a lot of creative liberty here and put none of those things in. So this is very much not a complete design because it has no correlation holistically to any other parts of the app. So that's something we'd probably want to fix. Um, I'm still not a big fan of the kind of plane area up here, so I'll, I'll show you this. The, the bow to like the path looks a little bit unnatural, um, so I feel like it should be a little bit more gentle and round and sloping. So that's something I would probably go back in and fix. We tried to keep the amount of um, weights and, I mean, we obviously we used open sands through the whole thing, but size and weight of the typography, we tried to limit those as much as possible, but I think still in that attempt, we still have, here's two right there, that's three, that's four, and technically that's five. Now, there's five different weights or sizes or combinations thereof of typography. I wish that I could bring that down and, and minimize that as much as possible. Although, because we're using Open Sans and we're just pairing the same font using different weights, it makes it a little bit more acceptable, I think. And so I usually wouldn't try to do that much variation. I'd try to streamline um, all of those. Although, on a side note, I do think that the uh, the distinction and the hierarchy is really, really good. I think the headlines up here are very striking. It grabs you, the weight of it, um, and, and even the proximity of it. The information is kind of uh, laid out well. So you have like origin and destination. You have like departure time, arrival time. So we see like similar patterns going down the page. That's really, really nice. Uh, it's a fairly flat design and modern design. So kind of bright colors. Um, you know, really bright uh, gradient at the top and then minimal white on a neutral. So I think that that's nice. The palette is simple. Um, it has a little bit of dimensionality and without, I think, going too far into like realistic skeuomorphism. So that's good. Um, all in all, I think it is okay. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it could maybe have a little bit of work on the typography, a little bit on separation, a little bit on the usage of space, um, and maybe even the only real part that, that really, really bugs me is this passenger listing. I don't think that that's gonna work for a large kind of group of passengers. So if it's me and my family of four, how is that gonna look in here? Does this area stretch out? You know, I don't know. So that to me seems like not a not a full formed solution, um, and that would that would definitely be something I would go back in and fix. So what we covered in this video was really focused on how to concept and how to uh, iterate and make design decisions as we went through and created this interface. And I think we did a pretty fair job. If you have any questions on why I made any of the decisions I did, or you have some comments or thoughts on something I could have done better, please leave those down in the comments. I would totally love to hear them and love to get your feedback. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys got something out of it. Again, the design file will be down in the comments. If you liked the video, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. I like to do a lot of stuff about design and code and other walkthroughs and tutorials just like this one. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hope you're making amazing stuff. Hope you're designing amazing stuff and having an awesome week. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.